Wheels for Hope cares to help people in need receive reliable transportation. Some of these recipients are referred by the Durham Economic Resource Center. The center offers job training and placement programs. One of its graduates is Malcolm Clements. Not only did he finish the DERC job training program, he's been employed for 14 months. Malcolm is here with us today along with the CEO of the Durham Economic Resource Center, Jackie Brown. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. So Malcolm, tell me, how did it feel when you received that car? It's great. <laughs> Excited. Yeah. But first of all, you know, I was, I was, I'm a musician by, by trade and I drive trucks for my adult life for most of it and play music. But playing the music, I, I, I got a, started to have a drinking problem. And I, two years ago, I decided to do something about it. Mm -hmm. So I, got, I went to Urban Ministries and got into a program where they helped me to, to take care of that. Mm -hmm. And then they were, introduced me to the Durham Economic Resource, Resource Center, where a whole, it was a whole new life opened up for me because all I knew was playing music and driving trucks. But through uh, the Durham Economic Resource Center, I, I learned to, to um, do computers. You know, I, I, I was computer literate. Mm -hmm. And I, through them, I went to the um, Durham um, College, Tech, Durham Technical uh -huh. College, uh -huh. you know, and, and through, the, through them, I was able to um, do, you know, do an online yeah. applications. It's really life changing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So Jackie, tell me about Malcolm's training program. Well, we're, as we, he said, we're a job training and placement program. We use a distribution center to provide hands-on job training. One of the biggest things we want to do is help individuals with barriers to employment, identify the barriers, and remove the barriers. Mm. And just like um, uh, Malcolm was talking about, one of the barriers to employment or people get, having gainful employment is transportation. Yeah. So, we, we, so Wills for Hope is a great partner. We really appreciate having that partnership. It can really make a difference in the lives of everybody you serve, right? Yes. Yes. So tell me about the other things that the center does to help people. One of the other things we do is we provide access to low-cost, new name brand merchandise okay. so that our member agencies, they can help individuals who need items, non-food items, uh, be able to supplement the, 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 the products they need mm -hmm. and the merchandise they need. Because now, if I can get something for less than a dollar, I can uh, be able to use that money towards helping my family. I would imagine an agency like yours is always in need of resources, yes. financial and physical. So tell me about it. What do you need? Well, we need, we need so many things. <laughs> we need things for warehousing, things for, uh, we need volunteers. And we also need people to, to help uh, come and learn more about us. We have information sessions. And we also have an upcoming gala where there's an opportunity for people to really come out and support us. OK, tell me about the gala. It's Tuesday, November 18th. Mm -hmm. uh, 2014 at the Armory, which is on Foster Street in Durham. It will start at 6 o'clock and go uh, roughly to 8 or 8.30. Okay. We're going to be honoring some folks who have really given back to Dirk, mm. to help us be, get where we are today. And the highlight of our uh, event will be a raffle for a motor trike. Very nice. Once again, getting people some wheels so they can exactly. do what they need to do. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Without that partnership for Wheels for Hope, I mean, it, it would really be hard to be able to help people get the transportation that they need, wouldn't it? Exactly. Especially in, like with Malcolm. He worked at a, a job that was really far away. Mm -hmm. So to be there on time and, and, and in place and doing what he needed to do, and he worked he works third shift. And so it, it really isn't a lot of public transportation that will really help. So our folks really need to be able to have uh, have wheels for hope so they can get around. Yeah. Malcolm, congratulations. Well, thank you. And thank you both for coming in to share that story. Thank you. By the way, Wheels for Hope has handed over the keys to four people res referred from their Durham Economic Resource Center. If you can help donate your old vehicle to Wheels for Hope, you can call them at 919-832-1941.